Hey guys, welcome to primandprep.com. Today we're going to be reviewing the Parker 24C safety razor. Um, it's an open comb three piece safety razor that uh, I got a few months ago and I've had, you know, probably at least 20 shaves with it so far. Um, first of all, Parker's kind of been known, you know, over the last 10 years or so to be a little bit lower in quality than Mercure or Edwin Jagger. And I just want to dispel any rumors. Um, that's not true anymore. I have a lot of Parker safety razors, and I'm quite impressed by the Indian manufacturer and in build quality and in shave shave quality as well. So I decided to give this one a try because um, it it weighs a lot, it has a long handle, and it has really good reviews on the grip. So. Let's start off with the weight and the balance. It weighs 3.3 ounces, which is pretty heavy. Um, most of the weight is in is in the handle. Um, it has a brass frame. Uh, the head doesn't weigh too much, but um, it's definitely handle heavy. Um, it has a good balance. It has a slightly uh, handle heavy, but that's okay. I hold it towards the top. Uh, usually, anyways, I hold it really close to these these two grooves, just right above the top one, right there. That's where I hold it. Um, in, in terms of grip, it probably has one of the best grips on the market that I've ever seen. It has. I like any any safety razor that has a gritty a gritty metal um, feel to it. It doesn't look as smooth, uh, but you'll have pretty much zero chance of dropping it or having it slip out while you are shaving. Um, it has a you know similar gritty feel to the Mercure 34C that I've reviewed in the past. Um, it comes in at four inches long, and for me, that is a perfect length because I have fairly larger hands. Um, the Mercure 34C probably comes down to to there, and that's a little too short for me. But this uh, you know four four inch length is just about perfect for me. If you have larger hands, I suggest getting something that is closer to to four inches long. Um, uh, yeah, so let's talk about how aggressive this puppy is. Pretty much any open comb safety razor, and obviously that's what this means, is that there's grooves within the within the safety bar right here on the head of the razor. That just means that more pressure is going to be applied to the blade as opposed to the safety bar by having these grooves cut in there. So typically, in pretty much every case, open comb safety razors are more aggressive. And I would probably rate this on a scale of 10, 10 being the most aggressive, This I would rate this about a 6 or a 7. And the reason for that is because although it does have the open comb, which makes it more aggressive, there's not too much space between the blade and the safety bar when you put when you put a raise uh, when you put a blade in, and I'll show you that in a second. So let me just take it apart. It's pretty easy. You just twist it off, and then you have the two-piece head right here. Let me get a derby derby blade out real fast. Yeah, so some of the more aggressive um, razors, let's see if you can see that. It's kind of tough to see. It's having a hard time focus, but anyways, um, the blade is pretty darn close to that safety bar. There's a very small gap. So uh, although the open comb does make it more aggressive, the the blade is so close that um, it's still pretty pretty hard to cut yourself with it because it's not aggressive. It's not so aggressive in that fashion. And I also have an article and video explaining what aggressiveness is if you're having a tough time grasp, grasping that. But typically, the more aggressive, the easier it is to cut really thick stubble or really thick beards. People with really um, you know, gritty, tough hair typically go more aggressive on their safety razor, so it's easier to cut through. And this thing does, with this open comb, chomp through 
pretty thick uh, stub life. We're friend with a really, really thick beard, and he uses this, and he really likes it because of that, because of the fact that it could really cut through that really easily. Um, yeah, so overall, I think it's a great deal, especially for under $30 for a safety razor. Uh, you can't really beat that. Um, the only gripe I have with it is that sometimes the head leaks a lot of water out of it, and that kind of bothers me. Um, but in terms of looks, obviously it's not a purely chrome finish uh, masterpiece. Any time that you do have the gritty metal, you're going to sacrifice the looks a little bit, but I, th I would take that trade any day because it feels so good. Uh, with these markers right here, kind of... It's kind of like a barbell. It helps you place your hands uh, where where you want them to, and without even having to look at it, you could just feel. For some reason, if you pick it up and you're not looking down, you could still find the perfect spot. I go right above this top groove right here when I'm shaving, and it's really easy to find even without looking at it. And it's not going to fall in my hands. It has a long handle. It's got good weight to it. The smooth. It's a really smooth shave. I can't recommend it to a beginner because it's a little too aggressive, but. For people with thick stubbles looking to try an open comb, this price point can't really be beat. Uh, so yeah, this is the Parker 24C review. I hope this helped you guys out. Um, head over to the article. You could read that if you want. Uh, there's a bunch of other safety razors, safety razor reviews. If you haven't uh, picked one out, if or if you're just getting started in wet shaving, I have a whole bunch of reviews. Or if you're just looking for something new, I also have bunch of reviews for people that are, you know, moderately experts at wet shaving. But check out Prim and Prep for more male grooming tips, and I hope this was helpful for you guys. Thanks. Bye.